Guys, we're back here on Wednesday and the guys came back and put the rest of this wall up today. So yesterday the spray foam guy came in here and he spray foamed this wall. Uh, and then the builders came back today and they put this uh, vinyl up and got the rest of this in here. So they still got some trim left to do like over there on that corner there. They got some more detail stuff to do that they'll come back and do tomorrow and um, put that in and that'll be good. So now you can kind of see down there where the window's gonna be to where people can look out here in the loafing area and kind of see that. So anyway, like I said, they should be back tomorrow. Um, they still gotta sheet the rest of this on the inside, finish uh, some trim and stuff and uh, do that. So we got an inch of rain last night. So we were planning on um, setting milk line or the post for running the milk line down in the milk barn today. And it didn't really work out. So, um, but we're planning on doing that tomorrow morning as long as it doesn't rain again. It's supposed to get rain here the next several days. So it's kind of messing a few little bit of our plans up as far as getting some stuff done. But anyway, we'll try to get that done tomorrow if we can. Alrighty, so we wound up getting all these posts set. Uh, you probably saw in that earlier clip, the, uh, <laughs> we ran into a drain line on the second hole. And um, so there's a clean out for that drain line and it runs the length of this barn and ties in down there at that other uh, drain line that goes from the old, uh, we call that the farrowing barn, we used to farrow hogs there. Comes down that away. We thought it tied into that away so it'd be right underneath this concrete. Turns out we were wrong and we found it. It was off the edge of this concrete. So anyway, um, we had to move our post over and kind of get into the concrete uh, to have it in line to go into the milk house where we want it. But it worked out. We were able to patch that drain line back together and it'll be just fine. So anyway, we got these all set in place. Um, most of these pipes are well, they're 21 or 24 foot long, um, depending where we were at, if we wanted them to be higher or lower. But the reason why they're so high is because we the milk line will be pr pretty high up, but uh, we want to make sure that we had a long enough pipe. So whatever they don't need, whenever we run the milk line um, along these posts, we'll just cut it off and, and that'll be good. So um, we just want to make sure that we weren't too short. It's a lot easier to cut it off than to have to weld something on and then you'll have a stronger post if you don't have to weld something on to it so anyway um and there'll actually be two posts back here that we'll do we just didn't get them done because it started raining and they got too muddy to do it so we'll uh hand dig those holes um because we can't get a skid loader back here but uh we'll do those on monday or tuesday so anyway um so it'll how to work the robot sitting right behind that wall the milk line will come up and then poke through the wall right there, head down this way and attach to these posts um, the whole way down. So anyway, and then it'll enter in the building right above that little light fixture there, that little outdoor light is where it'll enter. So anyway, doing it this way, we'll be able to pump the milk from the robot to our existing milk house and still be able to use uh, the bulk tank down there and still be able to pump right into our creamery. So that's kind of kind of why we set this up. I had somebody ask in a couple videos ago, comment and ask, you know, why we built it so far away from the freestall barn. Well, reason being is now we can have the cows still do the milk hauling and they can, you know, they, they can do the milk hauling by walking up here to the robot and milking themselves that away versus having, if we put the robot back there at the cow housing, we were to, we would have to haul the milk from back there up to the creamery every time we wanted to make cheese and that just didn't sound like fun to us and I know it's not ideal to have it like this but 
Uh, from what I've been told by some other people, it should work, so I guess we'll find out. Guys, back in here today, and we would have seen yesterday we got our uh, 10 foot ceiling fan put in. So that'll be a fan to just move a lot of air here at the, both of the robots. So we got that hung. Uh, while we were doing that, John was over here uh, putting the trim around the doors, and he's gonna come back and put some trim up around the windows, he said today. So uh, we also went back here. times with that epoxy they want it to be uh, 50 above 50 degrees when you do it and it's a high of 47 today and last night it got down to 40 so we wanted to make sure this room was warm enough that uh, this epoxy would set up good so we did that um, and the reason why I wanted to force that is because this right here is called the central unit and inside here is a vacuum pump and a boiler and so anyway uh, the guys are going to come next week and uh, put this thing in place and it'll sit over here in this corner. So they'll be putting it there and plumbing a lot of the lines into the robot next week. So I wanted to get this kind of done before they came. So anyway, hopefully uh, this next week those guys will be here. Aronson, the, the Laley dealer, they'll be here and they'll get a lot of that stuff done, put in place. Uh, Concrete guy might come this next week. He didn't come this week because the rain it's been a really wet, cold week, and uh, we'll do that. Um, and then the plumbers should be here, and they're going to take the pipe down to the lagoon, bring in the well water and the rural water, and get that in here, and then take the the drains from the bathroom over to the septic. So get that done as well. So should have a pretty busy next week. But anyway, I think that'll be it for today, guys. We'll see you later.